بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in affirming for us that there is a minhaj for us and a methodology for us to follow and that's the method of the salaf it's the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah the methodology of Ahl Sunnah and that we should adhere to it and we should avoid splitting into sects and deviating from that methodology one of the ahadith the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and this is also a wa'ad it gives a, a wa'ad a promise of victory a promise of success if we adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah and the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said La tazal taifatum min ummati ظاهرين على الحق لا يضرهم من خذلهم حتى يأتي أمر الله وهم كذلك. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "There won't cease to be a group from amongst my nation that are on the truth. No one will harm them, even if they deceive them or differ with them, until the command of Allah, and they will be upon that." Meaning until, up until Allah gets rid of all the people of good to the end of time. When there will be no more good left in the earth and there will be ignorance and shayateen present. So up until that time, Ahlul Sunnah will be there. Those who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, they will have success in this life as well as the hereafter. More importantly in the hereafter. And that no one can truly harm them. That doesn't mean you won't die. That doesn't mean you won't be persecuted. But no one can truly harm them. Meaning there will still be people on that madhab. La tazal ta'ifatu min ummati zahirin al haq That there won't cease to be a group from my nation who is on the truth. And there'll be victory. This is why the, the, the scholars, they talked about the firqat al -Najia. The saved sect. Why? Because those are the ones who are saved from what? They're saved from the hellfire. A firqa, a firqa to Najia. The saved sect. And this Ahabat Tafillah is what we want to be on. It's not what we claim. And this is something very important that we have to understand. It's not sufficient in a name. And this is what the scholars, they also mention a very important uh, principle or qaida which is that al-ibra bi haqa'iq laysa bi musammiyat that the proof of something is not uh, in its name but rather in its, its reality so the fact that someone ascribes a salafiyya but their methodology and really and their aqidah and their creed and understanding Islam goes against it does, is not sufficient for them to be salafi Likewise, someone who claims to be Salafi, but all they do is spread fitna and chaos amongst the believers and attack the honors of the belief of, of, of the honor of the believers and split and cause division between Ahl Sunnah. That's not sufficient for them, just that they say in their name they call themselves Salafi, or they literally change their name so and so Salafi. That's not sufficient. But Al Ibra bi Haqaiq, Laysa bi Musamiyat, the proof is in the reality of, of that person, not in their claim, not in their name. This is why we want to adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu and we hope that we're on that minhaj, and we hope that any of our mistakes on that methodology that Allah will forgive us, and anything that we do wrong is not representative of that madhab and that minhaj. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِنِّي قَدْ تَرَقْتُ فِيكُمْ مَا إِنَا تَسَمْتُ بِي فَلَنْ تُضَلُّوا أَبَدًا كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّةَ النَّبِيهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said Verily I have left you with two things that if you adhere to it you will never be misguided It's the speech of Allah, the book of Allah 
and the sunnah of his prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah guide us and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah, and help us to remove our wicked sins and be of those who adhere to kitabillah, those who are dhahirin al-haq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.